Okay, here we are. This is lesson two of how to draw a Shelby Daytona Coupe. And as you can see, what I did is uh, started working again on the dark parts on the front of the car. That's the closest to me, so I thought I'd do that. Anybody looking at this car is first going to see that anyway. So uh, there are some differences in the colors, in the tonal value, I should say. It's all black and white, of course. Uh, but inside the radiator shell there, the air intake in the radiator shell is is uh, really dark compared to even the body. The body is uh, is a dark blue, but the the shadowing inside the intake is jet black. So I'm going to work on that, and then I'm going to try and keep that at that one value, and then come up close to it with the body that's in shadow in the front around the sides of the uh, of the intake. And we'll be there. We go. Now we're going to do that. Okay. And uh, it also has big white stripes on the car. So what I'm doing is I'm lining those out, and you'll see that it has two fog lights in in the front end also. Okay. So now I'm going to go around the places with dots that I'm trying to conserve to make sure that they they keep from getting blackened out. And working on this, your side, on the left side of the car, it's actually the right, the passenger side, of course. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm darkening that up, but not as dark as the intake is for the, for the uh, radiator. Okay, going all along there. And what this is going to do, it's going to do a couple things for me. It's going to show where the darkest parts of the car are, but it's also the part that is the most important to me in terms of impact the front end with its lights and the grill and and the left front wheel are going to be the places that almost all the attention is going to be focused on when people first look at this car so I want to make sure that those really look good so I'm going to pump the values up I'm going to do everything I can to make a person's eye go right to that place and the way to do that is to make it uh, uh, varying degrees of darkness, but also to make everything kind of point in that direction. We're going to make sure that those are the most dramatic parts of the car, and there are many ways to do that. I'll tell you about them as we do them. But uh, as you can see, too, the two white stripes that go up the hood and then all the way up the hood across the top of the car and actually go to the back, those are going to focus your eyes right there, too. You can't see them right now. All they are is just a pencil sketch on here. But when we get those done, it's going to draw your eye right into that picture. And uh, that's going to make our work a lot easier. We are going to have a tremendous looking car, but it's it's just, it's like a moth drawn to a flame. Somebody's going to look at this thing. They're not going to be able to look away from it for the first couple of seconds. So um, the, the more we put in here that, that is dramatic, the better it'll be for us. And... That's what I'm trying to do here. But as you see, it is it is uh, going to be a little bit lighter on the body itself. So what I've done is I've, I've drawn a, a white, actually I left a white line around the side of the radiator on both sides, the, the intake I should say. And I'm going to leave that as a border between the very dark inside and the slightly light, uh, lighter outside of the body. So. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and I'll darken up that the uh, grill area. Okay, working down to the left side, nearly underneath the light now. And because these lights are uh, under clear plastic covers, they are going to help us too because it's going to make it uh, a little easier for us to show what's going on. We'll be able to show some... Uh, some flashes of light, some highlights off those plastic covers. And again, that's going to make a little visual interest. That's really going to make this pop. So people are going to see it and think, wow, that's really great. Okay, getting a little further along now. And yeah, it looks like we're not going to get this whole front end, the lower part of it done today. Uh, we're running out of time now. But we'll have three quarters of it done anyway. And then uh, We'll do that first thing tomorrow, and then we'll come back with some lighter stuff up on top 
and we'll just start playing one color against another and before you know it we're going to have a really great looking drawing anyway uh, that's it for today i hope to see you tomorrow uh, we've got a lot of work to do and this is really going to look great thanks bye